Mikey. Uh huh. Look what I got off the wish. What is it? Well, it's a, well, it says it's a bulletproof vest. How do we know that it works? Well, I don't know. I, I think we're gonna have to find somebody to put it on and shoot it and test her out. Who would that be? Not it. Not it. Well, thanks for volunteering. Think fast. Hey everybody, welcome back to Backyard Demolition. It's been a few months since I put a, put a vote, uh, video out there. Uh, winter, we got a house going up over here, which you can check out our videos on Backyard Ranch. Um, but uh, starting to warm up here, and, and uh, so we thought we'd uh, start making a few more videos. So today, got a couple things. We got, uh, it's almost like a, a wish double, uh, double review. Not really doing a review on it, but uh, I'm going to show you a bulletproof vest that I got off Wish. Now when I got it, I think I got the uh, extra large, the double extra large, but it barely fits Mikey here. Um, and then I don't know if it's going to be bulletproof. It's uh, If you look inside, I think there's a way of uh, getting into the side of these. I guess please hold. Please hold. And actually, it looks like it's just a memory foam. Yeah, piece of piece of foam. It's got the shape of the steel plate, but it's just foam. So, but anyhow, so we brought a couple uh, low caliber guns that we're gonna shoot. We got a 22 and a 22 Magnum to see what that does. Along with other things. And then well, we're gonna try it first. I mean, I, I want to see if it'll stop a throwing knife. I don't think it will. I got some. Uh, throwing knives from Wish. And, we also uh, did a video on that together. Not the throwing knives, we did the axes. We did axes, that's yep, right. Yep, yep. So you can check that one out, the throwing axes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I just brought the knives out here. We're gonna see if one, if we can hit it. We're not very good at throwing things. Did you get those off Wish too? I did, I did. So and this is a Wish triple review. Well, it's just double. Triple, because we're... One. Two. I already did one. Yeah, kind of, I guess, maybe. I got the mannequin from Wish too for 50 bucks, so. Hey, you know, which is uh, pretty cheap, but you're really not going to get what you uh, what you bargain for. So, anyhow, anyhow, we're going to uh, since our friend the mannequin here uh, volunteered to wear the bulletproof vest while we shoot at her, uh, we're going to go get get her set up, and uh, yeah, we'll be right back. You ready? Nobody's home. So. First gun we're going to be shooting today is the TX-22. Nice gun. We got this not too long ago. I have not shot this one yet, but I'm going to be shooting it because I am a fan of the 22 caliber. There's the magazine. Racks back really, really smooth. Easy. 22 caliber. Nice gun. Next, we have the 22 Rough Rider. It's a revolver, and then we're going to be shooting it's a 22, but we can change the cylinder so that it shoots 22 magnum, and that's what we've done today. We're going to be shooting 22 magnum out of this nice gun overall. All of these guns are nice except for the 9mm, which we will be covering next, but this is nice. This is kind of mine. I'm going to be getting it when I get older, but... Black Pearl Grip. Black Pearl Grip. Here is the 9mm. I do not like this one. It's got a very stubby grip. I don't know. I just don't like it. I mean, it looks nice. It's a nice carrying pistol, but it's just... I don't, I don't like it too much. So, still kind of nice gun. Just don't like the grip on it. 9mm hollow point. All of these guns are hollow points except for this one. This is a 45 caliber rough, not rough rider, Catalan revolver. And like I said, it's going to be shooting solid 45 caliber rounds. And yeah. If anything's going to make it through, all the way through the mannequin, this is going to be the one. So. Which one do you think will go through first? The throwing knives. I think the throwing knives will go through first too. 
We also have. So, go ahead. Wish throwing knives. We got looks like three different sizes, or is that just it's the way? Just three of the same. So three of the same. I'll put the link in the uh, video here. Yep, it's running throwing knife caliber pistol round. <laughs> Shoot this out of a. Through these cal guns. Th shoot it through these guns. No, you actually shoot them out of the 50 caliber sniper, so. Oh, is that right? Yeah, we're gonna be just kind of like throwing them, tossing them at it. Yeah. I'm not really good at throwing knives, and I've never, I haven't actually thrown these yet, so uh, I'll be lucky one to even hit the hit the target. We did do throwing axes, though, which we did not bring this time, but yeah. there's another video. I'm not sure if you're gonna put that in the description or not, but. I have a feeling, even if I can hit it with the point. It's not gonna go in. I think the, Ooh. I think the, the nylon on Ooh. the outside, yeah, there's. They're not sharp. They're not sharp at all, but the tip is. The tip is all you really need. Yeah. Because once you start throwing them and sticking them and stuff, it's gonna go dull. But I have a feeling that even if I can hit, I think, I don't know if I can accurately get it to spin, hit point first, and have enough force behind it to split split the uh, nylon. If I can get past that, I don't think the foam's gonna stop it. Because that foam is, seems pretty insignificant. So anyhow, I'm gonna get a little closer just so I can actually hit it and we'll see uh, see how well I do. Watch, I hit her right in the face with it. All right, yeah, you're good. Throwing knives. Only I hit her. Oh, oh, you sick? No. Went. Oh my gosh. She's getting unstable. She's gonna fall over. All right, let me try this again. No mannequins were hurt. If I could just making... hit the little thing there in the middle. Oh, I hit it that time. Oh, we got one. There we go. Oh, we got one. Oh, is it? It's, and it's inside. Oh. It is all the way inside of it. All right, so I don't know if you can see that really well from right there. A throwing knife stuck but that went in pretty deep. You're gonna see and if you can see, I mean, that's all the way through into her chest. Can I see one of the other ones? So, for perspective, this right here is a regular throwing knife, so there's about probably this much of the blade. So, this on is stuck inside. Yep. So that's a throwing knife. I'm not sure what a 22 is going to do, but I feel like every caliber up to that. Yeah, I have a feeling it's a 22. 22 makes that. Right. Well, that's in there. She's in there pretty good. Alright, well, she's a goner with this vest. With just throwing knives. Can I so, those were worth the money. That vest, well, it didn't cost that much. I can't remember what the what the price is. I think it was like 16 bucks or something like that. That was a long time ago. Yeah, I'll put the price in the uh, description if I haven't done, it, done so already. But uh, anyhow... It's not going to stop a knife. I don't think it's going to stop a bullet. But there's only one way to find out. Yeah. Next up is TX-22. So, TX-22 right here. We got the magazine right here. One twenty-two hollow point. And let's we're going to... Let's see what it does. See what it does? We're going to fire it at the mannequin. Ready? Nope. Point it down. Point down range. There you go. Here, stand up here in front of the thing. Right there. Now rack it, pull back, and shoot it. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Well, I saw stuffing come out the back. All right. So there's where it went in. Not sure if you can see that the lighting is bad and that is where it came out so we don't really need to test this anymore because we know that everything we have is going to go through it but why wouldn't we because we're going to we're just going to shoot it with what we got now 
All right, time for the 22 Magnum. All right. This is the Magnum cylinder, right? Yep. Okay. There's a Magnum. Yeah. We got a Magnum hollow, hollow point. point. Going into the row, not row, yes, Rough Rider 22. So, 22 Magnum. Last time I shot it, it kicked a little bit and ricocheted. So, we're going to hope that this doesn't ricochet. This won't ricochet. He, he shot a rock last time. Yeah. All right, you ready? All right. Three. Two. One. Go. Boy, well, that blew out some stuffings. Oh, we can't seem to figure out where it went in at, but it came out. It came out right by the other one. All right, well. Let's get the nine millimeter out. I'm sure we'll be able to find the hole from that one. Hmm. All right, next up, XDS. Shoot a little uh, hollow point there. I bet you that made a pretty good size hole. Clear. Clear. Where it came out. Is that it? No. It would be down here. Oh, there it is. Is it? Yep, behind the screen. Well, I went pretty low on there. I can't believe that one went through. You can't? I can't. I'm not sure if your brain is working. <laughs> Alright, so this is kind of uh, a little more anticlimactic than I thought. I thought we we're going to see more stuffing go out. I kind of was hoping that the 22 would be stopped with a hollow point. I thought I was hoping it'd like spread out and he'd catch in the mesh or catch in the thing, but that thing ain't stopping anything. I don't even think it's stop a paintball at this rate. But we're gonna see what happens when we shoot with the old Colt 45. Maybe we should have brought the baby gun. Yeah, no kidding. You wanna shoot this one? No. The old Uberti Colt 45. Yeah? This thing will shake a tree. Oh my! Did it make a big hole coming out? No, not at all. Really? You can come back here and see for yourself. Alright, so we got... Got the entry hole. Right there. So that's a little bit bigger than uh, the 22 and then that's the 9mm. And then a 45 hole. It's not that big. Oh, yeah. We got a little stuffing kicked out. So that's the 22, 22 Magnum. A nine millimeter, we couldn't really tell. It's down here a little ways. But then that 45 put pretty good size hole in there. Well, should we bring out the big gun? The big gun? What kind of big gun do you got? Well, I might have thrown something in there. Let's go see what it is. Right here we have the Henry 410. Oh, let me get in the frame. Yeah, Henry 410. Uh... Henry Repeating Arms, Rice Lake, Wisconsin, made in USA. 410 lever action. You can check out my review I did on this gun. It's actually a very nice shooting gun. and uh... I have not shot it yet. Yeah, first time for everything. Yep. Here, let me hold that for you. Hold that real quick. It's a shotgun. Are we ready? I think so. Alrighty. Aim right at that center of that chest. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I'm not sure if it went through. You just blew her head off. Ooh. Make it clear. It's clear. All right. Do I cock it back? Or? Yeah, go ahead and cock it back and then we'll just set her up there. Alrighty. There is the casing oh, show. Yeah. That peppered it pretty good. Ooh. 
That stopped them. Stopped it? Yeah. Well, it stopped it there. Yeah, oh. I think she's still dead, but it doesn't matter. I went through there. Do all that, but yeah, went out of that. But then can you hear that? Is it in there? The right, the, all the beads. Oh! Oh there. no! <laughs> Her shirt got tucked in to her skin. Oh. Yeah, I think she, whoop. Oh. It's a kid's show, guys. Ah. Yeah, I think she took a little bit of a beating. Well, I mean, I do have some medical supplies in my bag. Do you? We might have to take her to the medic. I think we're just gonna have to wrap her up with a bunch of duct tape. Put her head back on. Yeah, she, she lost her head over that one. All right. She's been severely injured in battle, and I knew this was gonna happen, so I brought my bag of medical supplies, and uh, we got all the necessities. We got gloves to sh shove in the wound, you know. Because that's what you do with the gloves. We it's not for bloodborne pathogens. Around, we got gauze to wrap around your hands so that the pathogens don't get in your hand. More. And then other stuff that I don't even know what it is. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll figure something out. Anyhow, that's all we got for today. Thanks guys for watching. And uh, maybe next time we'll get a little bit better uh, bulletproof vest. But anyhow, see you next time. Bye. Like I said, I haven't tried it in a while, and I don't know how to get it. And then I'm going to shoot this one to compare. 40? Oh, yeah. Quiet. All right. Everybody, okay, quiet. quiet. Okay, except for us. Yeah, we're the ones that are excited right, to start this one over. It is one. The spicy place. I, I, I shot a bunch, he's going to shoot a bunch, and he's going to have a whole bunch of... <laughs> they did not work out.